Some local students took to the water today, testing out their engineering skills. Jason Maxwell was there to see their hard work pay off. We are racing cardboard boats. My students have been spending uh, the month of January uh, designing and building boats out of cardboard and duct tape. So we started with a piece of paper, we did the whole plan, and then we started with just one sheet of cardboard, made a miniature scale, only a couple inches long, and then after we found that was a success, we uh, took the cardboard to the big place and made a whole boat out of it. This is usually a project that we have a little more than four weeks for, but with all the calamity days and snow days, we had to still squeeze it in. I'm really proud of the kids. They still got it all done. If you put the cardboard in by itself, it uh, disintegrates. So that's why we did the plastic bag below so it would float on top. I'm thinking this thing's going to tip over. None of them have ever done this kind of a project before. Just taking what's essentially garbage, it's cardboard and duct tape, and making something that will actually become a boat is pretty powerful, I think, for a lot of them to stand back and look at what they've done. and. A lot of them might not even believe that their boat's going to work, but it will. This isn't an honors class. This isn't like, you don't have to have any uh, pre-classes taken. So you get a lot of kids from a lot of different areas taking this class. And I think that's one of the most important things is you work with kids, one you're not used to, but two have, all have different backgrounds. My design was a canoe shape. Um, I mapped it out on a sheet of cardboard and then we did a little bit of cutting, scoring, folding, and a lot of duct taping. I knew that I had the surface area to keep me afloat, but I was not sure about the stability or anything, so I don't know if it was luck or a good design or both. I learned how to work in a team a lot, and I've learned, we've done a various projects, a lot of hands-on learning, and I learned how to um, like 3D print stuff. I'm gonna take away that you can always have fun and learn at the same time.